Oppo Reno 7 Pro Comment, Old Wine in New Bottle Oppo Reno 7 Pro Review Old wine in a new bottle The Oppo Reno 5 Pro was one of my favorite smartphones from the brand in 2021. It offered powerful hardware, a gorgeous display, and an attractive design, all at a price point that was rather aggressive by Oppo's standard. Later that year, Oppo also launched the Reno 6 Pro which I called a renovated version of its predecessor. This was because the Reno 6 Pro brought about iterative upgrades that didn't make a lot of difference. About six months later, we now have the Oppo Reno 7 Pro following the exact same philosophy. Yes, there's a shiny new design with flat edges because that's the new trend in the Android world. But apart from that, there's not a lot that has changed with the Reno 7 Pro. At its heart, it's still a Reno 6 Pro just repackaged into a newer chassis with some minor changes. That's not something that concerns the end consumer, though. What's important is to know whether or not you should get the Oppo Reno 7 Pro, and that's what I aim to do with this review. Oppo Reno 7 Series Specification Specification Oppo Reno 7 Pro Oppo Reno 7 5G Dimensions Weight 158.2 x 73.2 x 7.5 156.8 x 72.1 x 7.8 mm. Display 6.55 inch AMOLED FHD plus 90 Hz refresh rate 180 Hz touch sampling rate HDR10 plus support 99.94% DCI a P3 coverage 920 nit peak brightness 6.43 inch AMOLED FHD plus 90 Hz refresh rate 180 Hz touch sampling rate HDR10 plus support DCI a P3 wide color gamut 800 nit peak brightness MediaTek 1200 max octa Core ARM G77 MC9 GPU MediaTek Dimensity 902x ARM Cortex 78 at up to 2.4 GHz 6x ARM Cortex of 55 at up to 2 GHz ARM Mali a G68 MC4 GPU TSMC 6 nanometers process RAM storage 12 GB RAM 256 GB UFS 3.1 storage 8 GB RAM 256 GB UFS 2 2 storage battery charging 4500 milliamp hours battery 65w fast charging 4500 milliamp hours battery 65w fast charging security in display fingerprint scanner in display fingerprint scanner rear camera primary 50MP Sony IMX766 main camera secondary 8MP f/2.2 ultra wide tertiary 2MP macro primary 64MP f/1.7 main camera secondary 8MP f/2.2 ultra wide tertiary 2MP macro front camera 32MP f/2.2 32MP f/2.2 port USB type C USB type C 3.5 Mmm. Audio jack. Connectivity 5G NR. YASIC Bluetooth 5.2. USB Type C. 5G NR. YASIC Bluetooth 5.2. USB Type C. Software Android 11 with ColorOS 12. Android 11 with ColorOS 12. About this review. Oppo India sent us the Oppo Reno 7 Pro and the device was used for a period of 10 days before writing this review. Oppo did not have any input into the contents of this review. Design Oppo has done a great job at making the phone look and feel fantastic. Most of Oppo's smartphones score high in terms of design and the Reno 7 Pro is no different. The Reno 6 Pro had a curved display that merged into a back that was also curved in a similar fashion. This made the phone look sleek and comfortable to hold. This time around, Oppo has opted to go with flat edges on the Reno 7 Pro inspired by we all know whom. While the design isn't unique, Oppo has done a great job at making the phone look and feel fantastic. The Reno 7 Pro is the best feeling flat-edged Android phone right now. Several OEMs have adopted the flat edge design lately, but I feel Oppo has nailed it on the Reno 7 Pro. The phone isn't too large which makes it easier to hold and the chamfered edges aren't sharp so they don't bite into your palm. The metallic chassis feels premium and can stand on its own when kept on a flat surface. Of course, Oppo has also flattened out the back and the front of the phone to match the overall aesthetic. I really like the way the Oppo Reno 7 Pro look. The weight management has also been done in a way that the phone feels light when you're using it for extended hours. The Reno 7 Pro is the best feeling flat-edged Android phone right now. The glass back is pretty generic generic since we've seen a similar design on previous devices in the Reno series. Nothing special here. What is special though is the illuminating ring around the camera module. It's neatly tucked around the perimeter of the camera module and glows each time you receive a notification or when you're charging the device. If you remember a few years back, 
notification LEDs were common on the front of smartphones but were soon phased out due to increasing display sizes, leading to a lack of space and an abundance of excuses. This ring brings back that feature that too in an elegant manner. Since the LED is on the back, though, you'll have to place your phone face down in order to see it clearly. If you're using the case provided in the box, you can still see a hint of the illumination on the top edge of the phone since the case diffuses the LED. Some might find it gimmicky, but I personally liked having this LED. This is probably the only department where Oppo has done something new. Display. As mentioned earlier, the display too has been flattened out on the Reno 7 Pro along with the frame and the back. The Reno 6 Pro had curved edges on either side of the display, which I'm personally a fan of. I know a lot of people don't like curved displays due to various reasons but I like the aesthetic of a display that just flows into the frame of the phone. However, that's now gone and what you get is a flat display with a hole punch cutout on the top left corner. It is still an AMOLED display with a 1080p resolution and 90Hz refresh rate, just like the one on the Reno 6 Pro. The colors are excellent and the viewing experience is right up there with other premium phones with OLED display. The 6.55-inch display is relatively handy so the phone doesn't feel too large to hold or use. One gripe that some people may have with this display is that the refresh rate is capped at 90Hz while competitors are offering 120Hz displays in this price range. Personally, I can't tell the difference between a 90Hz display and a 120Hz display so this didn't bother me too much. If you're someone who can tell the two apart or you just want a higher refresh rate for bragging rights, this is one aspect that can bother you. There's an in-display fingerprint scanner on the phone for biometrics which is both fast and accurate. There's HDR10 Plus support on the phone so if you watch a lot of content on OTT platforms you're going to have a pleasing experience. And yes, Oppo has finally given us a stereo speaker setup that further enhances the media watching experience. Like the flat edges on this phone, I dig the flat display as well purely because of the way it looks. Oppo has kept the bezels around the display to a minimum, which actually makes a big difference when viewing the front of the device. Despite being a fan of curved displays, I prefer the flat design on the Reno 7 Pro. This phone is a looker from the front. Performance and software. There's not a lot for me to talk about here since the Oppo Reno 7 Pro uses the same Dimensity 1200 chipset. That was found on the Reno 6 Pro. Oppo mentions that the Reno 7 Pro uses the MediaTek Dimensity 1200 Max that has been co-developed with Oppo. However, there's no difference in the way the CPU or GPU functions and the clock speeds of this CPU are also the same. The only difference as a result of this collaboration between MediaTek and Oppo is that the Reno 7 Pro shows better visuals on the display compared to its predecessor, or at least that's what Oppo is claiming. The MediaTek Dimensity 1200 is a proven performer. In real life, I couldn't find any apparent differences or factors that made me feel like the Max variant of the chipset is making an impact. However, the MediaTek Dimensity 1200 is a proven performer. The Reno 7 Pro had no issues running all sorts of apps and games that you use regularly. It feels like a flagship phone in terms of performance, which is what you expect from a phone that costs 40,000 Indian rupees. For those wondering, BGMI can be played at 60 frames per second without any issues for the most part. I did notice some lags occasionally especially during hot drop. If you play heavier games like Genshin Impact, you will see some frame drops from time to time. A newer chipset would have made the upgrade from the Reno 6 Pro feel more substantial. I would have liked to see a newer chipset though since the Dimensity 1200 is last year's, albeit great in its own way. A newer chipset would have made the upgrade from the Reno 6 Pro feel more substantial in my opinion. Nonetheless, you will not have any issues with performance on the Oppo Reno 7 Pro. Just like every Oppo phone, you get ColorOS 12 out of the box which is, unfortunately, still running on Android 11. Old chipset, old software. It works, but a successor needs to have newer elements apart from a refreshed design. ColorOS 12 runs well on the device, though, and I didn't face any lags or hiccups throughout my usage. You get the usual set of features like dual apps, game mode, resizable multi-window, and a bunch of themes to choose from. If you like using a custom UI that gives you tons of features, you will feel right at home using ColorOS. If you want a simple UI that's closer to AOSP, you will need some time to get used to the interface. Camera. Let me get straight to the point. The 50MP primary camera on the Reno 7 Pro clicks pictures that are pleasing to look at in most lighting conditions. In daylight, the colors look great and so does the dynamic range. The natural bokeh when clicking close-up shots also looks attractive. Shots tend to be slightly on the cooler side which some people may prefer especially if you like photos with higher contrast level. Even in low-light situations, 
the phone can capture good shots with the inbuilt night mode. There is a noticeable loss in the levels of details and the white balance can get slightly messed up, but I would say Oppo has done a good job with the primary camera on the Reno 7 Pro. The Reno 7 Pro clicks pictures that are pleasing to look at in most lighting conditions. The ultra-wide camera can't match the performance of the primary camera and is a letdown. An 8MP sensor at this price seems like a cost-cutting measure. The details are lacking and the colors seem dull compared to the primary camera. The third shooter on the back is a 2MP macro camera that's also quite pointless. What's good though is the 32MP selfie shooter. Selfies look crisp with saturated colors and impressive dynamic range. Skin tones are slightly off as it tends to brighten the face a little, but nothing too drastic. Edge detection in portrait mode also looks great. If you take a lot of selfies or you make short-form content for social media, you will like the front-facing shooter on the Oppo Reno 7 Pro. Battery and charging. There's a 4,500 mAh cell on the Reno 7 Pro that did not have any issues powering through an entire days. Use of social media apps, browsing, clicking some photos, a 20-minute video call on Google Duo and binge-watching a few episodes of Shark Tank India. I ended most days with 6 to 6.5 hours of screen on time, which I think is adequate. The phone is slim and light but doesn't compromise battery life. The phone is slim and light but doesn't compromise battery life. For times when you are running out of juice, the Reno 7 Pro charges at 65W via the charger provided in the box. It generally took me about 35 minutes to go from 5% to 100%, which is surely impressive. Once again, these results are exactly similar to what we saw on the Reno 6 Pro. No change at all. Should you buy the Oppo Reno 7 Pro? I chose this particular title for a reason. The Oppo Reno 7 Pro is essentially a Reno 6 Pro repackaged in a new chassis with some minor improvements. Remember how at the end of each episode of Scooby, do they would remove the mask from the bad guy's head and it would turn out to be someone they already knew? The Reno 7 Pro is exactly that. Remove the flat edges and display, and you have a Reno 6 Pro right there. For a starting price of 40,000 Indian rupees, the Oppo Reno 7 Pro doesn't offer the best value unless a good-looking phone is on top of your priority list. The Reno 7 Pro has a beautiful design, a great display with slim bezels, solid performance, reliable cameras, good battery life, and fast charging. You see, it's a perfectly good phone. However, there's nothing really that justifies that asking price especially when you factor in the older chipset. That was found on the previous gen Reno 6 and the fact that the phone still runs on Android 11. Oppo's track record with updates isn't exactly stellar either which makes matters worse. Oppo Reno 7 Pro The Reno 7 Pro is the latest phone in the Reno series that comes with a refreshed design. Features Pros Cons View at Flipkart Unless you're really impressed with that design, there are better phones in the market at this price range. The Oppo Reno 5 Pro was launched at an aggressive price of 34,999 Indian rupees. And if they could match that with the Reno 7 Pro, which I'm sure they very well could since they're using older hardware, my verdict would have been different.